All right, guys. So one big question about flat earth theory is how do GPSs work? And, you know, I've discussed before, it's possible it's a land-based system. That's what some of the Air Force guys have said. Uh, there's been a couple of tech sergeants that have supposedly confessed, right? But, you know, how can we really prove that, right? Um, or, and they say that it's ground-based and they bounce it off certain types of aircraft. So I've, you know, I've postulated AWACS and some other types of planes. This is before I heard that, like, hell, it's what they do it. So, or I said bounce it off the ionosphere, the atmosphere, whatever. Uh, they're like, you can't do that. Oh, really? With shortwave radio, right? We get that from everywhere. Uh, this is Mr. Thrive and Survive. He's uh, Wake Up, Evidence Everywhere, Flat Earth. Uh, it's pretty good. Give him a little thumbs up there. And there's Mr. Thrive and Survive. Um, yeah, he uh, is a good video, and he discusses his experience with launching balloons. So let's get into that. Let me readjust this a little bit. Not unless you're using land-based communications. Like I said, I have my theories and hypotheses about how this is done. One second, guys. Let me turn this off. Uh, done about how I believe they will take signals from Earth bases, shoot them up, and bring them back down off of, bounce them off the ionosphere. And this is why, and I would have never known this if I hadn't done balloon launches, when the companies start telling me to make sure that I had a n nearly 90 degree opening at the top of the cargo bay so that the GPS satellite quote unquote reception could come in. That really raised a lot of concern because as you go up, if you draw a map of it, as you go up higher and higher and higher, your signal should be dropping lower and lower and lower to pick up the GPS, not the other way around. But if you're bouncing it off the ionosphere in order for the GPS to work from ground-based stations, it makes total sense that the higher you get, the more towards 90 degrees you have to look to get it. And I'll leave this video at this. So the question remains, when are you going to wake up and stop defending Okay, guys, so <clears throat> that was just interesting to me where they said, you know, 90 degrees. Now, of course, he extrapolated, and they were saying make sure you have it in a balloon. So it really wasn't like make sure you have it at ground level because, you know, maybe that's what someone could say. It was like, oh, no, you just need the 90 degrees so it could get it at ground level. Well, no, it ground level you would have tested your device and the GPS would work fine it wouldn't be in question they're saying make sure it's when it gets higher up that it's that there's a 90 de that it's open 90 degrees which is kind of a weird thing to say uh, I, I <laughs> that is that is bizarre uh, but as he states, it would make sense if you're bouncing something off of the atmosphere that it would have to be closer to perpendicular to the ground, uh, closer to 90 degrees, and you wouldn't want to have interference. But that's kind of bizarre because the balloon in itself and everything would be interference in that system. Um, I don't know. Anyways, guys, so... GPS, this isn't proving dis GPS, this isn't disproving GPS. I just think it shows that there are ways to make GPS or what we perceive as GPS work in a land-based system. Part of the deception. Thanks, guys. Till another video.